is that? Oh, it's right here. Right there. <laughs> oh, gosh, there's one go point. Sit there's any more in there. The Indian head? Oh, yeah. yeah. You ain't gonna do it to me this time. <laughs> <laughs> It's a seeded. It is a seeded quarter. And I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Man, check that out. That's just unbelievable. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you got to kiss her. She's beautiful. Mwah. What is it? Give me a hug! <laughs> He's hugging me, that must be good. Well, on another adventure this morning, heading out. A little cool. Well, I tell you what, Texas is hot one day and cold the next. And a little bit cool, a little bit wet. Got a lot of rain yesterday, but headed out now to go pick up Dig and Doc Holiday. And I got a confession to make. I'm just a little bit being negative about today. I'll tell you why. We're going to a very historic town in my general area. And uh, it's one of these towns that has a lot of old houses, but it's just been detected so many times over the years. And I mean, I've done at least 30 yards in this, in this town. And uh, I've got friends that have been detecting this for 25 plus years. And, I'm just a little negative about, well, you know, I'm just not, I, I'm not gonna find much. We're not going to door knocking and see if we can strike it uh, good on a couple of houses. But you never can tell, but Diggin' Doc is, he is new and excited and he's ready to go and, and that enthusiasm is contagious and I'm ready to go and, and, and do it with him. And, uh, and hopefully I can be proven wrong today that uh, a place is never really hunted out. I know that, I know that. But it's still, I have that negativity today that we're not gonna find anything and no one's gonna let us own the property. You know, it's uh, wet, number number two, it's, uh, it's, it's spring and the grass is growing and people are doing their spring cleaning and stuff like that. And they don't want us in their yards. And so I'm just kind of really being negative a little bit, not to dig and dock. He's not in the, he's not over here yet. I'm saying all that before he gets in here. You'll probably see it on the video. But who knows? We might find something really good today, too. Because if we can just score a couple of houses, and that's some of the thing about door knocking, you might get turned down a lot. Uh, then again, you might score one or two houses. But if you get the right house, that's all you really need is that one or two houses. So hopefully that's going to be the case today. Last video, we hit nine houses and scored nine times, never got rejected once. The only thing that we kind of semi got rejected was we couldn't do the yard, but we could do the, the pasture of the land. So it wasn't really a no. So it's still an open invitation to come back. But anyway, we're headed to pick up Dick and Doc Holiday and head on up about an hour away. And we're gonna do some door knocking and get on some old historic homes. And who knows, maybe I'll be proven wrong. I hope at the end of this video, I can make an apology and say, you know what, I should have never been negative. I should have had faith and belief. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. I got a little bit further to go. We'll see you guys out in the yard. Well, we got our first permission. Uh, we drove by uh, this vacant lot back here. And everywhere in this town is old, so you never know what you're gonna find. And we just pulled it up on the screen on the phone and Hunter called the guy up and at first he said no, but then he said yes. And so we got uh, one big lot we're gonna hit and then keep door knocking and see what else we can find. Hunter? Last video, you called a barber. You hadn't dug a barber, and you dug a barber quarter for the first time. What are you going to call today? 
shield nickel. Shield nickel is what is in the. I'm looking for a seated. He's looking for a shield nickel. Or seated. And uh, we'll take anything we can get. Anything. But a uh, little high grass, but we can work it out. And their old house used to sit right there in the in the in the trees. And uh, so hopefully we're going to find something. So let's get the swinging. So what are we going to find again? Shield nickel, digging all nickel signals, seated, anything good. All right. Well, let's see. For, let's uh, put a little silver on the line here. The first one who digs a silver coin is going to win a silver coin. How about that? That'll work. All right. And then at the end of the day, we'll do the Weedy King. We'll let's keep go. a track on how many Weedies we can dig. All right. Let's get going. Well, I'm going to be hunting with my Manticore again today. I put all my normal settings up there on the side. You can see what I hunt with. I normally stay with those settings. Sometimes I change a little bit on the sensitivity. So we are got our first permission. So let's get at it. Well, so far, just digging lots and lots of trash. Digging docks right behind me. I don't think he's gotten anything yet. I got my first find in this lot. It's ringing up as a nickel. We're trying to dig these nickel signals because of uh, V nickels and uh, the shield nickels are out here. Yeah, but it's not a nickel, but it is kind of a neat little find. Let me show it to you. I just kicked it up. It's gonna be an old spoon. Let's uh, clean it up and let's see what it's gonna be. Well, it's just gonna be, I think it says silver plate. Silver plated nickel spoon. It's pretty beaten up. And so, hey, it's the first find. Let's keep digging. Maybe there'll be something else out here. Wow, just a lot of trash. But I know you're in a historic place and you're on a vacant lot that's been hunted out many times, I know. And there's lots of trash. But the more trash, the more chances somebody missed something. So you just got to go slow and you really got to dig all the signals. And I was getting a 67, 68 here, not doing the live digs because it's so much trash, uh, thinking it might be an Indian head. But it's a little bit bigger than Indian head, but something neat altogether. It's definitely 1930s though, 1940s. Let me show it to you. All right, just popped it up. That's gonna be one of those makeup cases. And so let me clean it up and uh, let's see what this is gonna be, what brand it's gonna be. That's gonna be old makeup tin. The name of it's right there. Uh, I can't make it out what it is. It could be a Princess Pat. It could be a Tangy. Those are real popular brands. But uh, this is the old, uh, the full one. Still got the uh, clip on it. I ought to open it up and see if there's a uh, big dollar in there or something. That would be cool, wouldn't it? If it, I'll open it up later. If it's uh, something there, I'll show you. If not, then we'll just move on. So. Let's get a pick and keep on rolling. I, now I opened it up, there was nothing in it, but uh, I put three gold coins, fake $5 gold coins in it. I'm gonna go open it up in front of Hunter and see this, what his reaction is gonna be, so let's go. Hey, not an old makeup tin. Washed it up going to open it up and see sometimes they put money in them and so I'm gonna oh, let you that is a big <gasps> what is that was that just a gold on the thing or was that something what is that what was that is that just probably the makeup I saw something in there oh it's right here right there you ain't gonna do it to me this time. <laughs> I'm already on you. Oh gosh, open it up and see what it is. Uh, I guess he wasn't gonna fall for it this time. I'm sorry. You're guilty until proven innocent. Yeah. Oh <laughs> gosh, there's one go coin. Sit there's any more in there. Yeah, I see one right there. Oh another, that's a five dollar buffalo. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Check that. Was that the buffalo head one? The Indian head? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're actually... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you can see it says copy. They are real gold coins, but, I mean, the the, the way they look. That but they're just big. copies. 
That's funny. That's a big Oh, one. man. I was going to hope that you would uh, fall for that one. I can't get you anymore, can I? That one would ruin my day. Oh, gosh. All right, let's keep swinging. Well, we are still in this vacant lot digging all this trash. And hopefully something good would come up in between the trash. And so far, nothing really good. But uh, I did get a 91 signal here and pop this up but then I found another little bottle check this out I ain't getting on my knees my knees hurt and it's wet but there is where I dug this thing I don't know what that is it has some type of little thing but when I dug that up this came up too I wiped it off and you can see it's no cork top pill bottle that's gonna See if there's some, yeah, there is some, we might can identify the age of it right there. But, uh, I think there's a seam there, so maybe early 1900s, I would think. I'm not really up on my bottles, but it looks like it was formed, so I can't tell. I wish there were some coins in it. Anyway, I'll take a little bottle. You don't find those all the, all the time, so let's keep looking. All right, I got a 24, jumping up to a 27. It's just tons of trash in this lot. And uh, dug up a piece of like copper or a little thin, some type of metal, then another type of metal, and then a piece of nail. And and took me forever to find this, but I finally got it and swiped it. Now, it's red, I don't know what it is, but it's a coin. There it is, right, can y'all see it? Right there. Buff? No, it's gonna be a V nickel. Really? You got any? You got anything to wipe this off? No. Or, you hold it right quick. I got some water. Hold on. Awesome, bro. Hang on. Let me get the. I got a little bit of water. I don't think it works. So. No. I'll let you. Uh, One 1900 V nickel. A 1900 V nickel. It's actually in really good shape. But man, you can see the. It's really red. It's not corroded up. That's good. That is really good. Wipe it on your pants to see if we can get a good shot. There you go. Rub that patina off of it. Can you see that, guys? There we go. A 1900 V Nick. It's not the shield that we're looking for, but which version is it? Man, if I rub this hard, I might get it to shine up. I was to say, I saw some silver first on the back side. Yeah. I'll rub that patina good. off. Well, there's one date to about 1900. That's about what. Uh, Maybe that bottle I just got through digging behind me a little bit was uh, about 1900. Well, let's get a pick and let's see if there's another one in here. Bringing up 24 to a 27. So let's get a pick and keep on swinging. All right, we're sitting here taking a break. I was, and uh, we're trying to get some more permissions, and we got another permission, which is right across the street. There's an old house up on top, and then this house, that's, that's a new, new house, but the lot that we're on is an old house was here. There's an old house there. The homeowner over there at that house there said he found a, uh, his friend, he's my friend too, he found a seated dime. And so we're definitely in the, the seated territory. And then we got permission right here on this lot. And then you look right up through the woods, right up there, there's another house that Hunter has dug before and found a seated half dollar in that yard. So we're gonna get to do that one right after lunch. But anyway, he's calling me over. He's got something in the hole here. Let's go see what uh, what he's got. What you got? It's like a really heavy, I thought it was a piece of lead, but it's like a really heavy old arm. That is a, that is a 19, probably 1920s, 1930s lead toy. Lead. They made lead. Yeah, that's what the kids used to play with, lead. 
Wow, that's pretty cool. You might can go online and we clean this up a little bit. Let's clean it up and see if we can get anything off of it. Yeah. For all day long. I don't see any markings on it, but my best guess is going to be 1920s, 1930s lead toy soldier. He looks like a little medieval. I have to see if we can't find him online somewhere and look him up and see what his paint job looked like. All right, let's get a picture of this. Good find, Hunter. And let's keep on going to the next uh, location. Well, we're not too far away from where that lot that we did earlier, and we just scored this house right here. This is Hunter's permission, 1870 Angel Manor. And we're gonna work this sidewalk strip first. And do you guys know what that is? That's the original horse thing where they tied up the horse and walked straight in. Beautiful house, beautiful house. Got a big backyard. Also has some another two rental places in the back we can hit as well. So let's get to swinging. It looks like Hunter's already swinging. I've done that house in the back right there too. That's a beautiful house as well. Everywhere you look, even across the street, big park. But this is an old historic town. A lot of people have detected this many, many times, but there are a few yards that people have not hit. So hopefully this is gonna be one of them. Hunter's hit this a long time ago with his uh, Equinox but now he's got the manicure so maybe we can sniff out a few more things let's get to swinging got my first eyeball look at that got a quarter right there on the steps there we go maybe that's a sign well i got my first target it's ringing up a 70 70 to 84 real jumpy it's deep about six inches deep popped it up it's got this crust on it but i see some silver so let's see what this is there it is right there it's going to look like a war nickel. Or something. You got that crust all over it. i never seen one so crusty like that. Yeah, it's going to be a... Yep, it's going to be a war nickel. It's going to be a S mint mark. Let me clean this up real good and I'll uh, get a better shot at it. All right, in 1943, war nickel, bring it up as an S. That's my first silver today, I'll take it. We're just right out here. I haven't got to the sidewalk yet. I'm just working down the, down close to the street uh, right now. And uh, I'll take that. Let's get a picture, keep swinging, let's get a seated. Hunter called me up right after I got that war nickel. He's yelling buffalo. If I get a buffalo, I'll have a trifecta. Oh, yeah. It's a little toasty, but you can see. Oh, yeah. You can see his face. Well, that's two older coins out of here, so maybe we're going to get us some V nickels and some shield nickels out of this. What was the first year buffalo? 1911? 13. 13? 1913 to 1938. Uh, 37, 38, I think. And I got another weed. I got a weedy too. So, looking good. I got one weedy, you got two. So you're up on the weedy count. Digging dock two, preacher digger one. All right, let's keep swinging. Oh, yeah. Walking back to my spot, I spotted another coin on the steps, a nickel. So I've got a trifecta. I got a trifecta, but I'm not going to count this as a trifecta. I'm going to count if I get a buffalo or a shield nickel, be a trifecta. But I, if I don't keep anything else, I will. All right, let's keep swinging. All right, Hunter's calling me over. What do you got? Uh, it's about a 75 to 88. Uh, looks like, well, it's five bars deep. All right. Dig up that uh, stinking Lincoln. That's probably what it's going to be. All right, we're tied up three to three on the Wheaties. Still in the hole, huh? Yeah, let me use this Raptor. It's not high enough to be silver, but it could be a thin, thin silver.
Oh, what is that going to be? I see something. Yeah, I saw it too. It's going to be a piece of that fence. Is that, oh. is that a dog tag? Is it a dog tag or one of those heart necklaces? It's aluminum. Yeah, but it may have a, a name on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe some holy water. Yeah, let's cl we'll clean it up and get back with you. I'm, I'm there you go. Dog tax, nineteen fourteen, Jefferson. Well, we just gave away the town that we're in, but anybody that knows this area knows that's where we were anyway. But but uh, don't come to Jefferson and not have permission. Uh, always have permission to dig, which we do. That's pretty nice, man. Here you go. But it, with the display, man, I got a whole mess of them. All right, congratulations. I don't stand there on that end. I'm over on this other end. I just got a 26, about four inches deep. I don't know what kind of nickel. It's gonna be a nickel. Oh, it's gonna be a V nickel. Yeah, there's my V right there. Y'all see it? Let's see if we can get a date off of this one. Let me clean it up and I'll get back with you. And there she be. She's going to be another 1900, my second 1900 today. This one's in good shape too. 1900 V nickel. Well, you could say I got a trifecta. I eyeballed that one, dug that one, dug these two. So I got three different types of uh, nickels. Two different uh, 1900s V nickel. So let's keep swinging in here. Let's see if we can find some more. Whew, a lot of digging. I moved back here in the backyard. I was getting an 84 scratchy and then it dug it up and popped it out. It's getting a 52. And uh, I think this is going to be a good find. Let y'all check this out. That looks like it's going to be a Tootsie Toy fire truck I don't think the wheels are going to be on it but uh, let's clean it up and see what it's going to look like yep going to be a Tootsie Toy made in Chicago I believe it's got one set of wheels it's missing the backs of the front set of wheels I have to look that up and see what year that is I say 1940s probably 50s all right, let's get a picture and let's keep on going. We still got a lot more digging to do in this yard. Oh man, we're back here in the backyard. And we're killing it on the wheat. It was four to four, we went five to four, then five to five, and now I'm six to five. And I thought I was digging another one. And uh, look down, it's also it's a, it's a silver ring. Check this out. Yeah, right there. Are you sterling, or is it gonna be? None. It's all been up. Wow. Let's, uh, let's clean this up and by the magic of uh, video, let's take it just a second. You bend it back or was it? Not yet. I haven't bent it back. Look at that. That's pretty nice. It's got a beautiful stone in it. It's like a big. It's, uh, it's an old style. I got, I've dug several like that. And there you go. You can see. Well, let's get right there. It says stir. There's something else on it too. I don't know what that says. Can y'all see what that is? Let's. I can't make that out. But I do see. I don't know if that says Sterling. I have to get a picture of that, and that is ringing up silver. Or am I looking at it upside down? Yeah, 925. 925, it's 925 sterling. That's what it's going to say. Well, that's awesome. Very nice ring. I don't know what the kind of, is that a fire opal? Could be a fire opal. Well, let's dig a, let's uh, keep the swinging. There could be a big silver in here. Well, we moved on our 
other lot was across the street. Hunter is, uh, he's still over there. So we went to that other 1870 house and found a few things there. Then we came back over to this vacant lot. Same landowner uh, owns this and Hunter's hitting that one over there. And I decided to stay over here. But I am, I am wore out. I am tired. We have been at it since about 10, 15. And it's probably five something now. But I'm about ready to quit. My knee's swelling up. and uh, But I got a good 83 tone. Uh, kind of jumpy, but I found the big... Uh, let me show it to you. I found this in there. That would cause it to jump around. But then I was detecting, and I see a little silver right there. Looks like it's going to be a, a mercury dime. Mosquitoes are bad over here. I need to hurry up and get out of here. Can you read that? 1920? Maybe 1920? 1920. I think it's too worn out to see if there's a mint mark on it. But anyway, I'll take a 1920. I like it. Let's get a picture and keep swinging before the sun goes down. That's going to wrap it up for us. We spent a full day here in Jefferson, and uh, as I did my opening, I came over here kind of uh, with a negative attitude and thinking that we weren't going to find anything and we we're going to not get any houses or anything. And Hunter came through big time uh, today at Connections, and uh, uh, we first we pulled up and made a phone call and got permission on uh, that first lot, and then. We came up and uh, did this uh, house that we're right across the street from, and uh, he happened to own the other lot, which was across from the lot that we were doing. So he uh, brought, got us through and got some good permissions up here, and uh, we found a few things. We didn't find a lot of silver, though. I wish we would have found more silver coins. The yard that we did here, uh, he got a seated half out of it and barber dimes. So he did really good getting the silvers out, but he missed one silver, silver ring, and I got that one. So. Uh, but uh, we're wore out. I am anyway, and it's getting late. And uh, let me spin you around. Let me show you what we found on this trip. All right, here's the trash. At least that's my trash. And what's your two trash too, isn't it? Some of your yeah. trash is in there. Just typical stuff that you dig out of yards. Here are, let's start over here with the uh, hunter's finds. He got a, we think this is a piece of a flint. Uh, maybe, you know, a cutting knife or something for uh, um, Indians or something. You got... A shotgun stamp that looks just like a coin and got a, uh, some type of button or something uh, that he's got that lead toy that's really cool I need to get a picture of that and research that one for him he got that 1914 dog tax he got a buffalo nickel and who's the weedy king let's end it up we got two four six and preacher digger got Two, four, six, eight, nine. So I am the Weedy King, man. Still doing it. Well, here's my finds. They got a window knob, some type of, um, it says Orbit, Orbit spray. Uh, I think that may be a, an old uh, uh, water, what do you call those things? What do you call those things? Water sprinklers. Yeah, I got a Princess Pat, a uh, big makeup tin, compact. I got that silver plate spoon. It's all nickel down. I did dig this little cork bottle. I hate that it's broken right there, but uh, that's early 1900s. Here's my clad. I got two quarters. I got the four dimes, three nickels, and got eight pennies, nine Wheaties, and I did get that one fire truck tootsie toy i did get a bullet i'm not sure if this is uh 1800s it looks like it though doesn't it need mm -hmm. to clean it up a little bit let's get out of that yard we were in some type of little buckle i got a war nickel 1900 v nick another 1900 v nick so i did get a trifecta if you put this over there i did get three different nickels I uh, did squeak out a 1924 Merc here at the last dig of the day. 
I did get a really nice little cute ring. I'm going to clean that up and, and uh, I'm going to get it fixed and put it all back together. And so we had a good time. So we didn't get the old stuff, but uh, we had a good time at it anyway, didn't we? We did. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come up to an old town and dig in some historic yards. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. So keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, we just say happy hunting and God bless.